<sighs> okay, it is... Thank you for that, rooster. It is the beginning of February, and February, I always struggle saying that. And we're going to do a quick update on whether or not rabbits are worth it so far. We are coming out of snow and sleet and a bunch of other stuff, nasty weather. <clears throat> but this pen, I don't even remember how many rabbits are in this. This is our third batch of rabbits. They are about seven weeks old growing nicely um doing quite well there is one way bigger than the rest this is jazz or harp i don't remember she's from our first batch she is oh man up over six pounds now by a fair amount and we are going to breed her she's going to be one of our new breeders she was the biggest one out of our first batch uh well-tempered nice nice doe and she's taken quite well to this new batch of rabbits coming in uh, the pen that she grew up in let's go on to the second pen it's always hard to do with one hand one thing i would redo with these pens is i would make them a little bit taller not much i made this one about two inches taller the rabbits like to get up there and the trouble i had with the first batch and the other pen is they would hop over the edge <clears throat> so this is our second batch they are due to butcher next week very nice weight let's see which one this one right here she weighed four and three quarter pounds a few days ago so they're hitting about five pounds it's the size that i would very much uh, like them to get to one thing in this pen is water dishes i'm running three smaller water dishes and it seems like they don't hold out quite as well i know you're not supposed to breed for colors but we really do get some pretty rabbits out of uh, our buck and does that we have i'll show you them in just a second this one I don't remember what the girls named him. They name our meat rabbits, which doesn't make butcher day easier. But uh, this one right here, in my opinion, is just, he's a gorgeous buck. But there's 14 in this batch. Uh, it's a little crowded. This is two feet by eight feet, 16 feet total. It's a little crowded for them, but since they are, uh, they've grown up together, they don't mind it quite as bad. I normally don't leave hay in the bottom like this but whenever it gets down to really low temperatures i don't mind it and i let it build up and then later today it's warming up i'll pull all that out of there so the hay can fall through <clears throat> and we we get a lot of manure out of these grow out pens not nearly as much in the colony we'll look at that in a second but um, a lot of this hay that i'm feeding yeah, it's used for mulch around bushes, trees, and, and garden rows. And I let the manure build up a little bit whenever it snowed and sleeted and was nasty. And there's two five-gallon buckets, and there's at least another, probably half a five-gallon bucket underneath the pens. And so I am putting that on everything right now. I'm putting it on bushes. Oops, it's really hard to do this one handed. Uh, trees and in our garden rows to fertilize our garden rows. <clears throat> and I've done a tour of the colony before. What is slightly different right now is our buck is in a cage. It's kind of a mean looking face he's a doing there, uh, chewing on that hay. I pulled him from the colony, segregated him out, so he could uh, give the does a break. Now, since they're in the colony, they really don't mind getting bred back very quickly. Oop, come back. And we have, I pulled him a few days too late. And so we had one more batch of bunnies. I haven't counted lately, but I think there's 10. I don't know that I ever counted. Elizabeth counted. I think there was 10. 
and back, if I can get my finger up here, back up there, there is a tunnel they've put in behind those stakes in the hay. There's some more hiding over there. There's some down here by their mom. And you can see they're starting to live in the feeder, which means they are getting close to getting ready to come out of there. Meaning all of these rabbits at uh, four weeks old, just over four weeks old, because the mamas have been, the does have been making a new litter every month. But I'm going to give these another half week to a week. And that's not that's not super easy on the rabbits, on the does. Uh, it's kind of hard on them, but uh, they really don't seem to mind it. They have been trying to get to the buck to get bread <laughs> since he's right there. They really enjoy being close to him and hanging out uh, as near him as they can can get. And man, they, they want to get to him and get bread. They, they are asking for it. So they, uh, seem to prefer that and I'm letting them pace themselves. So we have, let's see, this will be the fifth litter of rabbits that will get butchered. They'll get butchered in another two months or so. And man, they're just super cute. The kids love coming in here and spending time with these little old bunnies. They are just pretty adorable. So is it worth it? We are going through feed just pretty quick, but we are also producing rabbits just pretty quick. Um, the first batch that we butchered, I uh, think I was estimating it with a really good... Uh, a really good reason to estimate it that way <clears throat> around 55 pounds uh saved out that one the the gray one i showed you earlier so we butchered 14 there was 15 in those two letters um lost a, a few early on in the colony and 14 rabbits came out to about 55 pounds i'm estimating uh with one of the does, the older doe, we're unsure of her age uh, One on one of the does. So I'm going to go ahead and pull her and butcher her and cycle in the gray one I showed you previously to get bred this spring. Uh, with her in the mix, I think we're going to average somewhere between 65 and 70 pounds uh, for this litter. Not average, uh, estimate. 65 to 70 pounds for this this batch. And then the next batch, I'm assuming, will be around the same, you know, somewhere in the 50 to 70 pounds of rabbits. So uh, with the first two batches, uh, after the second batch is done, uh, we're looking at about 125, 120 to 130 pounds of live rabbits getting butchered. So we're already up to a full-size deer. <laughs> uh, and better than some of the goats that I, I raised in the past and way easier uh, it does take more feed, but we are supplementing that with hay that cost us nothing but time and effort. And so we, between the kids really enjoying playing with the rabbits and having a good time taking care of them and, and giving them some productive chores to do and getting the meat out of it and a boatload of fertilizer for everything we're growing around here, uh, I think they're definitely worth it so far. Um, this is looking to be like a very long-term uh, project that we are going to keep up with. Um, so absolutely, I would say so far, they are worth it. And also, it's a good sign to see. You can't see very good right there, but in that little hay rack feeder I have, there's one eating hay. That's another good sign. These are about ready to come out. So overall, definitely worth it. We are going to keep up with it. And the rabbits have been uh, productive. Uh, they they take some input because you got to feed them uh, pellets to really keep up this level of production. But absolutely, um, we think it is worth it.